What's up, everybody? Uh, all the Detroit Lions fans out there. So there you have it. Uh, Detroit Lions lost to the Seattle Seahawks, 26-6. Um, this game, it kind of was expected. You know, I was being optimistic and trying to, you know, have hope, uh, trying to give the, the fans something to be excited about in my previous video, but this is what, what happened is what was supposed to happen. Um, the Detroit Lions roster is just, it's just not good, man. You know, we cannot stop the run. We haven't been able for several weeks, so I don't know why fans thought that that was gonna happen today. Um, the receivers killed us over there against Lawson and you know whoever else they wanted to. Uh, Darius Slay did a decent job but you know of course you knew they was gonna attack the rest of the, the other guys over there so you know us not having nobody really at corner uh, besides Darius Slay man and you know our, our defensive line was getting pressure today but they could not stop the run. Uh, those linemen, they was they was opening up holes, man. Them offensive linemen was opening up holes for their running back, man. For Rawls, and you know, the Lions couldn't do nothing to stop it. Um, another note is the drop passes. Eric Ebron today turned back to Aaron, or the old Eric Ebron today. Um, Butterfingers, man. Marvin Jones, Butterfingers, Anquan Bolden was out of character. I think I don't think I ever seen him do that in his career. Get out of character like that. Um, you know, Golden Tate at the beginning of the game, drop passes. Just drop passes, man. They did not help they did not help Matthew Stafford whatsoever. Matthew Stafford came and did his job. He came and did his job. Um which was get the ball there, man. And these dudes just blatantly just drop passes, man. Um, the offensive line, on the other hand, I actually was impressed with. I was impressed with the the offensive line because being down, Reef and Swanson, we just being down, you know, players that we down, for them to hold up, for Lucas to hold up, because uh, Lucas, you know, Lucas ain't been that good, so... For Lucas to hold up, that's encouraging to see because, you know, next year there'll be a, um, another year up under their belt, man, and for them to play together and uh, to grow and to get healthy. And I'm encouraged about the offensive line. Um, I'm also encouraged about Matthew Stafford and Zach Zinner. I feel like Zach Zinner needs to be a second running back next year uh, once Amir Abdullah return or... Um, because me, honestly, what I believe they should do is just put Theo Reddick at the slot, man. Um, you know, because Anquan Bowden, you know, he's, he played well this year, but I don't know what you're going to get out of Anquan Bowden next season. Or um, I don't even know if he's under contract next season. I forgot what his contract was, man. Can't really think right now. Um, but, you know, um, I was a uh, just checking out Namby's Morris video and you know the fans and I was just reading the comments with the fans in there and it just amazes me that people still found some type of way to blame the game on Jim Caldwell. That just amazes me. This game today had nothing in the fucking world to do with Jim Caldwell. I don't care if he went for it on this down or didn't go for it on that down. Those drop passes and not stopping the run caused us this game. You know the refs wasn't going to give us no calls, man. You know they wasn't. They haven't for several years, year after year. You have to go out there and you have to play flawless, man. And the Lions could not do that, especially not with the roster that they have. Yeah, the, that was a face mask. That should have been a, a replay fourth down. But who's to say they still wouldn't fucking score anyway? Um, against our defense right now, at least. Um, you know, the block in the back with, with Russell Wilson. It's plays. Yeah, it is plays out there. But, you know, 
it is what it is. I understand it for you know for people to be upset about it because if it was other teams, those calls I feel like would have been made. But that is not the main reason why we lost. That is only a a, a little, not even a half, a quarter of the reason why we lost. Uh, we lost because of them drop passes and not stopping the fucking ball, and uh, and then the receivers killing us on that left side over there. Um, those are the reasons that we lost this game against the Seattle Seahawks. So uh, you can be mad all you want to, and you know the the Caldwell Lynch mob. You know you can be mad if you want to, uh, but I mean this 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 ain't this one ain't on Caldwell, bruh. Uh, and I don't care who get mad when I say it. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Fuck you and your opinion. This has nothing to do with Jim Caldwell. This is strictly on the players. This entire game was strictly on the players. The unnecessary roughness calls and lack of fucking play. And like I said, we, we have no pro bowlers on this team whatsoever, man. Even though our quarterback should be one. We have no pro, no pro bowlers, man. Especially on the defensive end, that's not a good thing. Um, I don't know, man. The Lions got a, you know, we got we got Bob Quinn, and I'm I definitely think Bob Quinn is gonna go into the draft and do what he got to do, and, um, and go into free agency and do what he got to do to improve this roster because the Lions are not far away. Even though, you know, we lost tonight. We still got to the playoffs with a bunch of guys off the couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> guys off the couch, literally, man. Um, you know, calling up guys and from the practice squad here and there and this and that. Still managed to make the playoffs. Uh, I'm not saying they like making the playoffs is the goal. That wasn't the goal, of course. But I don't know what the hell you expect the Lions to do with a roster like that, man. I mean... You know, you got to, it's a difference between being a fan, there's a difference between being a little insane, a little, uh, a little greedy, man. You know, just really sitting down and looking at what the Lions have to offer is not much at all whatsoever, man. Haven't had a run game all year. Been dealing with drop passes all year. Marvin Jones didn't pan out. Marvin Jones had that one explosive game. You know, and it was funny at the time because I was telling people that Golden Tate was still uh, a, a better receiver. But, you know, Marvin Jones had that that big game and everybody thought he was the next coming to Calvin Johnson. And, you know, after that, you started to see the disappearing acts. Where's Marvin Jones? Dropping passes. Missing in games. So, yeah, the Lions got some work to do on this roster, man. Um... And they got to have more than just uh, Theo Reddick and, and Amir Abdullah and Zach Zenner. They have to have backups. They got to have uh, those those emergency calls, man. So, uh, that being said, you know, of course, everything in, in my videos is my opinion. So, if, if somebody don't like my opinion, then that's on you. It's my opinion. I can care less if you like it or not. Um, but that's what I felt about the game. And that's what I feel about the Detroit Lions right now. So on to next season. It's time to start looking at these these players in the draft, man, and getting my mock draft ready and uh, predictions ready. It's about to be a long off season, so uh, we'll see what, what happens, what moves is made, if Caldwell keep his job, or, you know, it is what it is. But with that being said, it's your boy King. I'll catch up with y'all later.